always loved the country since I was a kid. Watching, um, I'm old school, watching the Dukes of Hazzard. Some of y'all may know about the Dukes of Hazzard. I ain't talking about the movie, I'm talking about the show. Just watching the show back in the day and how they be on back dirt roads and all that. Made me love the country. I like riding through the country, you know. I don't necessarily want to live in the country no more. In the country, you see snakes. You see everything in the country, really, to be honest with you. I ain't no snake lover. When I lived in the country, I don't even think I told you all this story. I lived in the country, and one time I was in the house, my, my brother did something, some work under the sink or something, the kitchen sink. That's where I had all the pots and pans and stuff. And one day I was in the room just worshiping. And I heard like the pots and pans rattling. And I'm like, hold up. I know I ain't got no mice. You know, I'm from New York, so I had mice when I was growing up if you read my book. So, you know, automatically when I hear noise like that, I'm thinking, hold up, got mice again, but, um, I heard the pots and pans rattling under the sink. So I cut the worship music, I cut the worship music down, I'm listening. Then I cut it off and I tiptoed to the kitchen. I eased to the kitchen. People, when I get to the kitchen, no exaggeration, when I get to the kitchen, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. When I get to the kitchen, I peep around the refrigerator. And I see two big snakes. No exaggeration. Some people exaggerate. They might see a little snake and tell you it's a big snake. No. I seen two full-grown snakes wrapped up together. They had uh, came out of the cabinet from under the sink. Some of them, some of their body, hold on. Some of their body was still under the sink. But for the most part, they had came out from under the sink, kitchen cabinet. And, um, they were wrapped up together and team I don't play with snakes I don't play with snakes um, I ran back to the room first I closed all the doors I closed all the doors in there the bathroom door other bedroom doors and then I closed my door I put some clothes on and I went next door got my cousin he country he country so that ain't bother him I was terrified y'all I ain't lying to you I was terrified. I went and got him. He came back. He ain't changed words with me. He came back ready to get them. But when we came back, Saints, we ain't see them nowhere. That made me even more scared. I'm like, oh Lord, where they at? Now I knew they couldn't have went in the room because all the room doors was closed, bathroom door was closed. So I know they didn't go in the room, but not knowing where they at was more terrifying than, than even seeing them. So he boarded up that hole. But it turns out, Saints, by the time the time I went to their house, his house to get him to come back, the snakes had went back out the same hole they came in. And that's ain't that something? They went back out of the same hole they came in. It's like they turned around and said, let's go back out. Which was crazy. That's crazy to me. They went back out of the same hole. Anyway. But imagine team. I thank God. I praise God for that. Because imagine team. If, if I wasn't there. And never heard. Never heard them pots and pans rattling. So to God be the glory for that. I thank God for that. But anyway. Yeah, he came ready to kill them. He came ready to kill them because I'm not built for that team. Built for that. The Lord said we should tread upon serpents and scorpions, but I wasn't ready to. I wasn't ready for that. Anyway, team, I told this Caucasian woman at work, older woman, probably in her late 50s, early 60s or something. I told her, she told everybody in the plant. 
You know how many people at work came to me that day? Like, you had two snakes in your house? I would have gave them the house. This woman told everybody. Everybody she knew she told. Everybody coming to me. Talk about that two big snakes in your house. Man, I realize you gotta watch what you tell people. Only tell people what you don't mind them telling. And that's wisdom right there. Only tell people what you don't mind them telling. Like, if I tell anybody anything right now, anybody besides my wife, I don't, I don't mind you telling it. I know what me and my wife talk about. That's between us. Anything I talk about with anybody else, I don't mind you sharing it. Then Tim, I'm gonna talk about something for a second, like, like with a married couple, like if you know them personally, and maybe you need to speak to the wife or you need to speak to the husband a second, it's, it's a sp certain amount of respect that you should give the spouse. But like me in photography, women, if you look at my website, you see mostly women. Like, so, you know, somebody might know Kim. I don't know. Do y'all feel like, let's say you friends with Kim and you want to do a photo shoot with me. Do you feel like you have to contact her to do the photo shoot with me? Answer that, for real. Answer that in the comment. Do you feel like you have to contact her to do a photo shoot with me? And I ask this because it's mostly women anyway doing photo shoots with me. So whether I had a wife or not, you would have to contact me. But I feel like, okay, even if you gave my wife that respect to say, hey, Kim, I want to do a photo shoot with Tron. So you mind if I contact him and call his number or whatever? All right, whatever respect you give to my wife, I feel like you don't have to keep doing it, though. Like, if you late for a photo shoot, don't contact my wife. Contact me. Because, see, I'm the one you paying. Because I did this before, like, I can't say too much that people know exactly what I'm talking about, but I did this before where the person just kept contacting somebody that was with me. And they didn't, I feel like if you paying me, me and you doing business, me and you doing business, the person ain't had nothing to do with the business. And then they kept contacting that person, contacting them about this, about that. I feel like if you're gonna be late for your shoot or gotta rearrange the date or something, something anything for your shoot, I feel like you don't contact my wife for that. Like. If, if there's a man that say, Tron, that I know, say, Tron, you know what? I want to publish books with your wife. Uh, you mind if I call her? No, I'll call her. But like, every little thing for your book, like editing, book cover, whatever, release date, whatever, you don't contact me. You contact my wife. And, and we grown enough to do business like that because I've been doing business with women. And... And not never get personal. Not never get first of all. My wife with me on the photo shoots. She's welcome to every photo shoot, and she comes to just about. Has she been to every photo shoot since we've been married? She been to most of the photo shoots since, since we've been married. Yeah, but that's just the whole point I'm making. Like, I understand the respect thing, but don't keep contacting my wife. My wife is not a photographer. Don't keep contacting her. If you're gonna be late, don't contact my wife. Say, hey, I'm running late. If you need this, don't contact my wife. Say, you, I'm the photographer. You're doing business with me, do business with me. Y'all, so when I do photo shoots, I send out an email. I talked to y'all about this before. It's just letting people know how I operate, like what you getting. I let you know what you're getting in your photo shoot. You know, whether your photo shoot 60 minutes, 90 minutes. I let them know dress code. Um, let them know about deposit. The deposit is non-refundable, but I give I will I give you three months on your deposit though. I give you three months because some people, one person went a whole year and then still wanted their photo shoot. So I had to. I just cut that off. I told you, you know what? I'm gonna give you to April. That was in. That's probably in March. So I give you to April because the original photo shoot was supposed to be April of last year. Person didn't do it. There's a guy that paid a deposit for a photo shoot last year. He didn't He didn't do his photo shoot. They paid another deposit this year for another photo shoot. 
happy they're doing photo shoot. Like, thank you, chief. People just want to give me deposits. Thank you. Yeah. But his time run out next month. Next month. So I give you three months. Because I'm not trying to, I'd rather take the photos than not take the photo. You know, than rather just have the deposit and not take the photo. I'd rather take your photos. The more clients, the better. The more people you, the more people I shoot, the more people that see my work. So, yeah, I feel like I'm babbling, team. I'm babbling. Team, I lost my wedding band. I don't know where it's at. I don't have a clue where the wedding band is. Anyway, team, I don't know where my wedding man is. Hopefully, I will come across it somewhere. Yeah. You just had a snack. That's a nice cold one. Straight out the freezer, team. I don't know what I did with my wedding ring. I think my wife uh, playing tricks on me. I think she put it somewhere. Just hiding it. Why? I don't know, Tim. He's going into the doghouse. If the doghouse dog means I'm on the bed and you're on the couch, yeah. No. Wait, wait till you push the off button. He's going to the doghouse, Tim. Tim. Y'all believe that? Y'all believe that? Hey, for real, what you did with my ring? That's my honey bunny. You my honey bunny? That's good. Till you find it, man. Till I find the ring. I gotta find where you put it. Will we play hide to go seek? And my cold or warm? Huh? My hot or cold, babe? Huh? Let me guess. It's not even recording. Yes. He doesn't deserve, deserve one. Yes. Team. Since he lost his ring, I just, I just don't know, team. Team, look. You don't see no ring on her fingers. What? Call me out? Yeah. 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 I took off mine. I just don't know where I put it. She took off hers too. She take her stuff off all the time. Anyway, I I, I took it off to wash dishes. Mm. He's still going to the doghouse for using that room. Okay. Okay. Y'all laugh. I bet y'all laughing too. It's funny. It's funny. I'm the man up in here. I'm the man of this house. Hallelujah. Same, babe. It is finished. I don't know the words. <laughs> do your remixes like you always do. Hallelujah. <laughs> it is finished. Christ has risen from, from the, the grave. grave. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is finished. Anyway, team, we got to go. We about yeah. to watch a movie with Mariah. The other day, we watched a movie with my, my, Mariah didn't want to watch a movie. Now, she going to watch a movie, and he don't want to watch a movie. And she's graduating, you guys. She's graduating from... Sister. High school. Yeah. yeah no. no. I, I, I'll be devastated. You'll be devastated. Yeah, because it's like she flew by so fast. Like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I want to cry at the graduation. And when she graduated high school, you know, she's going to go get a job. I'm going to charge her about $300 a week. No. And what? But you teach them responsibility. $300 What's a week? That's steep. $300 thing. a week. Yeah. She wants to wear her hair down. But I'm just like, you're only 11. Yeah, so. She's like, no, I, 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 she like, no, 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 no
twenty dollars a week. Yeah, I'm back on that. How much should we take? How much should we charge you, Ryan? To stay Ryan with us. Take when she mm-hmm. get a job. When you get your job, how much? What's right, Tan? Tell us what's right. Tell us. It's okay to tell us in the comment after she graduate high school. Tell us, Ryan. What should we charge you? <laughs> What should we charge you, Ryan? Seven dollars a week? Sixty? Huh? Twenty-seven? What? A penny? She said charge her a penny a week. (laughs) Okay, well I'm telling you that don't include food. (laughs) That don't include washing your clothes. If we're gonna charge you a penny a week, you're gonna be in that room with the lights always off. You can have the room, but the lights gonna always be turned off. You gonna be you gonna need permission to turn the lights on, and you can't even run no water. Don't turn on a light switch. Don't run no water. Yes. Anyway, T, we about to watch this movie. We about what's this movie called? Maze Runner. I don't know. She wanted to watch it. I don't know, Tim. Don't be judging that. We don't know what the she want to watch this. Yes. So we gonna see if it's if it's out there. We, you know, we cutting it off. Yeah. <laughs> we cutting it off. But I, I, I think, I think it might be harmless though. Yeah. I think this it movie might be. about Ryan. She said, "I don't want." <laughs> she, she probably went because you told. She probably went and found anything. <laughs> okay. All right, team. We gonna get back up with y'all. What's up, team? Team, I want to talk about something. I want to talk about the foot fetish video. Oh, wait, hold on. I got 41 minutes left. Now, check this out, team. We looked at the analytics, and we know what some people was looking for when they found our video. Some people was putting in the search engine, foot worship. Now, we know there's people out there that like feet, but team, I hope that... I don't know what I hope, team. Just (laughs) Whatever people was looking for, I'm sorry y'all didn't find it here. We ain't into no... I don't even want my wife feet in the bed. Y'all heard me say that. I don't want her feet in the bed. I'd rather they hang off the bed, Tim. Ain't no foot fetish. Ain't no foot fetish over here. Are you sure, babe? I'm positive. I got a foot fetish. I like feet. I like putting my feet on his feet. She do like feet. Yeah, she wanna. And I like to pinch him with my toes. We watched a movie yesterday, t- last night, ten, and she wanna hold feet. Like you yeah. hold hands, she wanna hold feet. I was holding feet with him. You guys. I don't know, Tim. Might be some foot worship over here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he liked it though. He, he didn't resist me. I didn't first... resist you because it's what you wanted. I sh- in the marriage, I should compromise. Thank you. About time. <laughs> So usually, like in the beginning, I'll put my feet on him. You like, mm-hmm. but then last night he just, okay, babe, and he smiled. Yeah, because I'm tired of I, I'm tired of fight. I'm tired of resisting her team. I gotta I gotta work with her team. We we a like, team. We won. He just smiled. Team, girl. I'm not gonna like it. I'm not. I, I refuse to like it, team. I refuse to like it. Oh, we might as well name this foot fetish part two. <laughs> Babe supposed to paint my toenails. I'm waiting on that. Yeah, you're gonna be he, waiting. He's like three months overdue. Wait. One time I went like two weeks with no no more longer than two about a month with no polish. I was like, you know, bump this. I, I polish your toes, babe. When we get the grandkids, we pick the grandkids up for a weekend. The grandkids. Yeah. Boy, please. We pick our grandkids up for a weekend. That's like decades away. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's how long you're gonna be waiting. Okay, well, I just do my own toenails. I'm overdue. Yeah. It look like you be doing it with your eyes closed, though. What? Yeah, it really Stop, do. Baby. Team, I'm telling the truth. Because it, my my polish because my toes are chipping, I got to put a fresh coat on there. I don't need trying to roast me. I ain't trying to roast you. But you are. I'm just telling the team the truth. Okay, I'm gonna just be quiet. Yeah. Team, I'm gonna put my feet on you just for that. You putting your feet on me mm-hmm. tonight? I'm gonna get a foot massage. Hmm. <laughs> Which one of the children? My husband, because he lost me, team. You must be cooking me a good meal. Yeah, Where, bring on the bacon. Where's the Where's the bacon at? Which one? Turkey bacon, beef bacon. What you want? <laughs> Which one you want? Cows don't have bacon. 
Which one? Have you, you ever seen beef bacon? Pork bacon, babe. What you want? Pork bacon. It is beef bacon. What you talking about? I've never seen no beef bacon ever in my life. Ten. Aunt Faye, could you tell her, please? This beef bacon. Could you tell her, Aunt Faye? I'm, I'm shocked. I need to see how that look like. Could you beef tell her, bacon. Aunt Faye? I ain't talking to the team. I'm just talking to mm -hmm. Aunt Faye. No, yeah. Aunt Faye, tell I her. never in my 33 years of life, people, people, <clears throat> people think my children are my siblings. No. Everywhere we go, I'm like, oh. Are they tall in her team? Yeah. My mom's about to my shoulder. The whole, the whole family short, so. Tan. The whole family shorties. <laughs> Except the father. Yeah. All right, well, I'm just put my status on Facebook. I share my book. Put your status on Facebook, man. Anyway, Tan, we're going to end this video. To all those that came for foot fetish, I'm sorry that you did not get what you were looking for, yeah. but I pray you stay. Anyway, team, I'm not, I'm not massaging her feet. Yes, you are. I compromised last night, team. Team, let me tell you what we I watched. Hold, we me, hold I, feet. I, comp I compromised Ooh. twice. One, we, I, I, we held feet. <laughs> I feel weird saying that. I ain't gonna lie to you, team. I feel weird saying that. Two, I watched Godzilla. Team, that's not my. We didn't watch Godzilla. King Kong. I watched King Kong. No, That's not my thing. No, we didn't thing. finish watching it. But we was, I was watching it, though. We're going to finish it again. That's we a classic. King Kong, 2005. Ten. I like, I, I, yeah. When I was a kid, I used to binge watch God, Godzilla and King Kong and stuff. Yeah, the the classics, the black and white ones. The class. I also watched it. Yeah, those, those were good. Those were good. You but didn't ten. watch it. He never watched it. Yes, I did. I watched King Kong Godzilla back in the day. Don't play with me. You did? Yes. You act like you never did before. I didn't act like I never did. I just didn't want to. Because look how it started off. It started off real slow. Yeah, this, and you know what, team? Real slow. You didn't see King Kong until, I mean, it's about halfway through the, more than halfway through the movie. <laughs> and it's his movie. Yeah. And this weekend, we're we going to go in there, babe. Yeah, we're going to go in. This weekend, we are going to. Um, Watch Titanic. Babe never watched Titanic ever. Team, I'm He's going to watch it. Team, y'all hearing this? I'm hearing this with y'all because no. I didn't. I ain't, I ain't agreed to no. I'm not agreeing to no. Team, I've never watched Titanic. Let me give you two reasons why I've never watched it. One, I already know how it ends. Two, it just sound corny to me. Well, babe. and team, I'm in the love stories. I like love stories. It's I like a good story. What's the name of that movie? I like. I like Notebook. I liked another one where um, some of y'all gonna remember this when I say this. Uh, there was a car crash, and the woman right lost her memory, and through the whole movie, her husband, and that based on the true story, the husband, the husband was trying to help her remember, and um, it was kind of sad, but it was a real life story. As soon as the movie come on, you see them lovey dovey. Then I think they park somewhere, and a truck come hit them from behind. Bam. I think I've seen it, but I don't, I just, it's so long ago. Yeah. Listen, when we so watch wait. Titanic, I'm going to cry, and my husband's going to hold me. Tim, on that note, I'm going to You're going to have a moment. I don't, I, I don't know what else to say, Tim. And, and Dollar General is open, so we gonna we was going to wait out here at 8 o'clock, because usually, but it look like people going in, Tim, so we going in, too. Yeah. My husband will buy me some snacks. Tim, I ain't watching no Titanic. Babe, you told me he's gonna watch it last night. We'll try I, to show off. In front, he's trying to show off in front of you guys. I'm not, team. I'm not trying to show off in front of y'all. You know, some people do that. Show off in front of people. Look, team, I'm not the show off. Was grab his beer. Come on. Team, I'm not the show off in front of people type. He's gonna watch Titanic with me. I'm watching no Titanic. Why well, wanna watch a movie and I know the ending? Okay, babe, you'll say that. Keep on talking. It's going out one ear and not the other. Okay, I could show you. I'm gonna say like we used to say in New York. I could show you better than I could tell you. Mm -hmm. Now I'm watching. No I know the ship sank. Bow. That's the that's no. the movie. You gotta talk uh, about Jack and Rose, and then just how they you felt watch it? You seen it? Because I don't remember all the details. Which, just like we we watching King Kong. She's seen it already. I seen it like three or four times. Then fell asleep on it last night. It was boring her that much. No, because my bedtime was like 10 o'clock. Or at the t about 10 o'clock, I started getting sleepy. Can't do it. Yeah. Anyways, I need to go to bed when the kids go to bed. For real, because yeah, it's not good on my body.
Anyway, team, we going to hit hand Dollar General. We're going to end this video, but there's more videos coming. No, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. We'll catch you on the next one. Deuces. Deuces.